effect to that. I've also acrylic painted the uh, spine and that gives it an old oil skin look. If you can see it there. There's two large signatures in this. Lots of sewing detail. And I'm really pleased with how this has actually turned out. Okay. So, I've deliberately used um, a stretch lace on this uh, so that as you expand by adding uh, things to your journal, it will stretch with it. Okay. So here we go with the inside. This is the front cover. Uh, this is actually uh, taken from one of my own um, digital images. Not that I've made it, um, but that isn't in the kit. I will try and remember what is from the kit. This is definitely, um, I've added some little uh, tags at the end here. And there's a little pocket there. There's lots of uh, detailing in this, embellishments. It's quite hard to hold together at the minute. Okay, uh, so here we've got a little tuck spot. And then we flip this up and pull this out. And you can write on both sides of that. And then we've got a little flip here, which you can write on. A little homemade doily, a little tag here. And I've added some uh, crackle accents to the eyes. I'm not sure if you can pick it up there. Uh, lots of stenciling throughout. It's a very grungy feel, is this? Um, some ephemera there. Uh, these are from also from Kelly's kit. Beautiful images, absolutely beautiful. Uh, this is uh, from a vintage uh, book, Gamage. Another image there from the kit, as is this one. I've got some ephemera. This is actually um, one of the book pages, uh, but I've cut it down uh, and made it into uh, some writing space. And here we have a little tuck spot with some more ephemera and that's a little belly band there and then this flips out. Let's pop those back in there. Sort that out later. Some graph paper here and then a little pocket. This is also from the kit. That's an extra little pocket there. And then I've added a little die cut and uh, some journaling paper there. And some more journaling paper. There's a lot of gilding wax being used throughout. If you can see this here, uh, this has uh, been die cut. Another of the images from the kit. And here, some uh, vintage lace and modern lace there with buttons. A little tuck spot here. Sorry, that is actually for, as part of the kit as well. The uh, rose tag, that's part of the kit. Uh, this is from a, a book that I have, um, Harper's Bazaar, um, which I've cut out, I just thought it fit well. And there's some journaling papers. A little tuck spot here with an envelope from the kit 
and then some uh, journaling cards there that are also from the kit. A little flip there and then another tag here that's from the kit. It's a beautiful rose here. Uh, this um, has been printed onto photo paper. Uh, there's lots of black card being used throughout. Um, so I will add a metallic pen so that you can write uh, on all the pages. That should be on there. Save with a guest check and some more writing paper. A little bag here. Nothing in there. I love how the papers turned out when a coffee dyed them. Some of them are very grungy. Journaling card there and this is a book page that I've taken out of a Punch magazine uh, from 1922. Here I've just made a large journaling paper there. And then we've got a little pocket here, greaseproof paper. Again, the lovely uh, coffee that I how it's turned out. And then we've got to the uh, centre of the first signature. comes out. This is a page uh, from Kelly's kit. As is this one. Excuse my arm getting in the way there. And some more writing space. A little pocket here with some ephemera. Uh, this is um, a freebie from Kelly uh, from her Facebook group. And so I've not stuck this down so that uh, you can place it where you want. So I made a little envelope with uh, a die cut embellishment on. It says Certificate of Death. And uh, there's just it's just a little uh, notepad. That just pops under there. Little embellishment. This is from um, the digital kit as well. Let me just hold it up. And I've added crackle glaze onto the scorpion there. Uh, this is from Kelly's kit as well. Little tag that I've made. Pocket, a uh, little paper bag. This is another of the beautiful images from the kit. Made another little notepad here. Oop! Not been sewn in very well, that one. And then an envelope. And again, this these are from a, a freebie from Kelly on her uh, Facebook page. Added some of that there again. This is from Harper's Bazaar, I think. See that I've just added a little black gem to the eye there and a die cut there. This is another little pocket here. Again, this is an image uh, from uh, Kelly. 
Let me put that one back in there. Another image from the uh, kit and some journaling paper there. And then this flips up so you can write in there as well. Uh, this is a, a tuck spot here. This is an image from the kit. Piece of journaling paper there. Another page. And then here we have this flips down. Let me move it up there a bit so you can see it better. I'll have to turn it round, I think, just so that I can fit it in. So we've got a, at this side we have a little uh, pocket. These again are from Kelly's. And then turn it back. It'll just uh, some notepad in there. With lots of writing space. Another image from the kit. This is also from the kit. I've added a, a die cut here to make a little pocket. More of Kelly's uh, wonderful images. There's also one of them. A little tuck spot here. central again. Another wonderful image. I made a, a little tuck spot there from a die cut. This is from the kit too and the snake is also the little ticket. Again I've added the crackle glaze on there. Another little flip and that actually has little pockets there so you could put tags in there and then these pages are also from the kit as you can see there's absolutely loads in the kit that you can play with another image we're on to the second signature now so again this is from Kelly's I've just added some uh, lace there and a little die cut here uh, the little spider here has had the crackle glaze put on lovely image from the kit journaling card I've added a little die cut there this is from the kit, some uh, lined paper, and this is. There's just, as I've said, so much here to play with. A uh, little die cut uh, butterfly that I've added gilded wax on there. We've got a little tuck spot here. I've just made this into a, a little journaling card, but it's also a little pocket in there. This is taken uh, from an old book. Some uh, Victorian furniture. This is from the kit as well. large lace pocket here and then I've done it into a card and then those images on the front make that into a little tuck spot this is again from the kit 
and I've added some crackle glaze on there. A little tuck spot here, pocket. There we go. Couldn't get into it then. Grease proof paper, the crackle effect. Again from the Gamages catalogue. Uh, I fussy cut this house out and added that on there. Uh, Took spot here and two little tags. This is from my kit. Tag here, which opens up, and it's just a little blank card in there. Pop that in later. Another little pocket. And there's also a hidden pocket there as well. This is from the kit. This image is from the kit as well. This is uh, one of Kelly's. This is actually vintage music paper. The pocket is also uh, from the kit. Uh, this also comes, uh, this, so you can make it into a belly band. I just thought it looked nice as a um, bookmark. So I'll leave that in there. I've uh, embossed some black card here and highlighted it with gilding wax. And then I've made another little buckle here. And now we're to the centre of the second signature. Lots of writing space here. This flips out for more. And you can add your own images or whatever you like in there. I thought I would leave that sort of blank. And then this is from the kit. I did a little die cut flower there. Uh, a tag here. This is also from the kit. And it has a little hidden pocket there. Some writing paper there. Another pocket and a tag. This is from the kit. This also is from the kit. This one is too. That's been backed onto craft card. Another Victorian image there. Oops. More detail in that you can use as a tuck spot as well under there. Another image from the kit here. I hope I haven't been going too far off uh, camera there. This is an image from the kit as well. A little tuck spot there. I thought I'd left that actually to put a tag in, but I haven't. Uh, glossy accents added on here. Another little of the pocket tags there. Uh, 
this is a little tag there. He, he got an image if you can see it there. I've uh, embossed black card again. I did some little details here to make it look as though it's studded and a little embellishment there. made an envelope here pocket and then we have a tuck spot here with the tag and some writing paper this is another flip out as you can see, there's absolutely lots and lots of uh, detailing in here. Lots of writing space. This is from the kit as well. There's another little tuck spot here. A tag. Journaling card here. Now we've come to the back page. And there we have it. Well, as I said, this will be available in my Etsy shop later on today once I've uploaded the video, which usually takes quite a while, as I'm sure you're aware. I hope you've enjoyed looking at this and uh, I hope to see you all soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.